Until yesterday afternoon, probably against all odds, New York City had enjoyed 16 years without anyone being killed by Islamist violence. Could this latest bloodshed have been prevented with different law enforcement practices? You hate to ask that question, but it arises in this case because in 2005, the NYPD created a report, Radicalization in the West, the Homegrown Threat, it was called, and it laid out how U.S. Muslims could become radicalized. But that guide was subsequently denounced as Islamophobic. The de Blasio administration purged it in 2016 in response to a lawsuit by, you'll be surprised, the ACLU. Patrick Dunleavy is a former deputy inspector general of New York. He's the author of Fertile, The Fertile Soil of Jihad, and he joins us tonight. Patrick, thanks for coming on. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me, Tucker. So the original, I mean, New York is famous for having a very serious kind of world-class, literally, police department, and they took this threat seriously after the two World Trade Center bombings, obviously. They produced this report. What does it mean that the de Blasio administration jettisoned it? Well, what they basically did is they caved into political correctness. Um, nobody was looking at the fact that what the NYPD was doing was normal police practices when it came to investigating crime. And if we're going to say that terrorism is a crime, which obviously we've just charged this individual in federal yes. court and we've given him Miranda rights, then there are certain police practices that are normal, surveillance, undercover operatives, uh, knowing the neighborhood that, to which you're going to go. For instance, um, if you're going to look for a clean shirt for your show tomorrow, you're probably going to go to your closet or to your dresser. You're not going to go yeah. to the refrigerator. <laughs> In the same way, if I'm looking for an organized crime figure from the mafia, I'm probably going to go to an Italian neighborhood. So right. now if we're looking for radical Islamic terrorists, we should probably be going to pr predominantly Muslim neighborhoods. That would just so, be common police practices. Of course it would. So what about that changed under de Blasio? Well, there were complaints made by not just the ACLU, but certain uh, Muslim uh, activist groups like the Council on American Islamic Relations right. and other groups that said that we were profiling, uh, that it was unfair, that we ought not to do it. This has never been happening before. And instead of uh, actually showing that it was a normal police practice to do these things, they just caved in. It was like throwing up the white flag and saying, oh no, we don't, we don't want it, we want to be perfectly polite, we don't want to offend anybody. Meanwhile, the cost was the public safety. Really, really quickly, Patrick, was there any evidence that the police in New York were violating people's civil rights, hassling people, hurting people under the, the current policing regime? No, in fact, that particular lawsuit that was filed was ruled on by a Judge Martini was the individual who ruled on the case and said there were no damages. One of the things that they sued for were damages. There were no damages done by the New York City Police Department when they surveilled these particular neighborhoods. And yeah. then when the case was reinstated on appeal, instead of fighting the case, and there was probably a 99.9% .9 chance that they were going to, NYPD would win the case on appeal, because a new regime had come in, Bloomberg had right. no longer been mayor, de Blasio came in, and he caved. And when you look at the fact that the new procedure calls for a civilian to be appointed to oversee any request to go into particular uh, neighborhoods or particular religious organizations, that person right. is appointed by the mayor. Now, right. the mayor of New York City has praised domestic terrorists. Right. Oscar so, Lopez I mean, right. No, that's ex it's exactly was, right. So, so, so when we say okay. we're going to do that, instead of letting the police be the police, we cave de, in. De Bla of course we have. Patrick, thank you. That was really interesting and Oh, important. my pleasure. Thank you.